I'm going to be showing you how to use Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium formulas to calculate genotype, phenotype, and allele frequency in genetics or problems. The Hardy-Weinberg formulas help us determine genotype, phenotype, or allele frequency in populations that have reached equilibrium. So let's take a look at the formulas. The first one we have is p squared plus 2pq plus q squared equals 1. And no, we will not be doing quadratic formula in order to solve genetics work problems. Instead, we're going to be learning each term and what it represents, as well as how to find it in word problems and how to use each one individually to solve the word problems as easily as possible. So first we have P squared, which represents the homozygous dominant genotype or the dominant phenotype that may be given in a word problem. Then we have 2PQ, which represents the heterozygous genotype, which is also a dominant phenotype, or it can represent the carriers that may be given in a word problem. And then we have Q squared, which represents the homozygous recessive genotype, which is also the recessive phenotype. Our second equation is P plus Q equals 1. The P represents the dominant allele, which is one part of a gene, and Q represents the recessive allele, which is one part of a gene. And yes, they will be specific to allele if they are asking for or giving us the frequencies of alleles. They'll actually mention allele. So let's try a problem. In a population of black and white cats, whereby black fur is dominant, 64% of the cats had only black fur offspring. What is the frequency of white cats in this population? So I know it's intimidating when we first read a word problem and it's hard to know where to start, but we'll maintain focus by outlining the information given to us. So let's start with, first of all, knowing that black fur is dominant. Now, 64% of the cats had only black fur offspring. So cats that have only black fur offspring are homozygous dominant cats, which is represented by P squared. So we could say that P squared is equal to 0.64. Now let's determine what they're asking for. What is the frequency of white cats in this population? So they want to know the frequency of white cats in this population, and white cats are homozygous recessive phenotypes, which is represented by Q squared, and that is what we're looking for. So let's see how to solve it. So we were given the homozygous dominant genotype, P squared, equals 0.64, and we're asked for the homozygous recessive phenotype, white cats, Q squared. So what do we do? Well, let's start by square rooting the P squared to get P equals 0.8. Then we'll use our P plus Q equals one formula and plug in the 0.8 for the P and solve for Q. Q equals 0.2. So now all we have to do is square the Q. So square the Q on both sides to get Q squared equals 0 0.04. There you have it. 0 0.04 is the frequency of white cats in this population. So we could say 4% white cats in this cat population. So let's try another problem. Goucher disease is an autosomal recessive disease that causes problems with the elimination of fat from the body and can result in fatty buildup in certain organs and thus problems with function in these organs. If 4 out of 100 people in a family are known to have suffered from Goucher disease, what percent of the family may be carriers of the disease? So once again, we're going to start by outlining the important information, starting with knowing that it is an autosomal recessive disease. So now they tell us that 4 out of 100 people suffered from Goucher disease, which is a homozygous recessive phenotype, which is represented by Q squared. So Q squared equals 4 out of 100, which is... 0 0.04. So now let's determine what they are asking for. 
what percent of the family may be carriers of the disease? So they want the percent of carriers, and carriers are a heterozygous genotype, which is represented by 2PQ, and that's what we're looking for. So now, let's just do the math. So we were given the homozygous recessive phenotype, those who suffered Q squared at 0 0.04, and were asked for the carrier percentage, which is same as the heterozygous genotype, 2PQ. So how do we get this one started? Well, just the same way. Let's square root both sides to get Q equals 0.2. So then let's use our P plus Q equals one formula, plugging in the 0.2 for the Q, and solving for P. P will equal 0.8. So now we have P, and we have Q, and we're looking for 2PQ, which is 2 times P times Q. So I'll do 2 times 0.8 times 0.2 to get 0.32, which is the frequency of carriers in this family which is 32% carriers. Simple as that.